Okay, uh, Italy have beaten Austria 2-1 at Wembley in the second match of the second round. Um, went to extra time. Was not expecting that. I thought Italy were, were clear favourites going into this game. The Austrians made a match of it. Uh, Italy were the best side in the first half. Uh, Immobile with a, a shot that if it had gone in would have possibly been goal of the tournament. Uh, hits the bar. Midway through the first half. Now Italy were the better side. Austria were, were not on a full rear guard action, but they were second best. Spinit Sola down the left, uh, the wing back, was the most threatening Italian player going forward. A lot of chances created because of his probing runs and crosses. And uh, it was it was a bit bizarre to me that it was half at half time in normal time it was still nil nil. Uh, Italy created a lot of chances. So you, when the second half kicked off and, and Italy looks a bit flat, I was a bit surprised. Now it was quite warm, quite humid this evening. The Austrians disrupted the Italians in the second half. The Italians didn't have any flow, any structure. They weren't settled. And uh, the Austrians were the better side in the second half. Now, Arnautovic has a goal ruled off for offside. Correct decision. It was a very good header. Uh, Donnarumma um, beat him from a very tight angle, but it is correctly ruled offside. And that's on 64 minutes. And still the Austrians, I think, were the, yeah, were the better side. There was a penalty check, which was also an offside check, on 74 minutes. Offside was given. So there were two VAR checks in, in normal time. And when full time came, uh, it was still nil-nil. Obviously, Austria were on top. The Italians were looking a bit flustered. They were looking frustrated, and they were looking a little bit tired. Now, this is where Mancini, I think, is, has pulled um, a rabbit out of the hat with some of his substitutions. Uh, Chiesa and Piscina proved crucial. Uh, Kalasic uh, for uh, Austria also. Uh, it proves crucial. So the substitutions made extra time a thrilling 30 minutes. Um, the extra time was actually more entertaining than the previous 90. And the previous 90 was a good, evenly balanced 50-50 game. It was a seesaw game. The momentum was with Italy in the first half. The momentum was with Austria in the second half. And uh, we finally see the Italian goal breached. Yes, it's it's taken a lot of games. Um, uh, over a thousand minutes. I think nearly 1,200 minutes of football. For, uh, since the it Italians last conceded a goal, that is an insane. That's a that's a record, by the way, um, for for the national side. They've gone 31 games unbeaten, which is also a record as well. But Chiesa's goal, after just a few minutes into extra time, uh, Spinazzola. It's a absolutely pinpoint cross. Uh, the way he brings it down with his head, then he controls it with his wrong foot, gets himself set, and from a very acute tight angle. Smashes it past the keeper into the bottom corner. It's a brilliant goal. And that completely has swung the momentum utterly in favour of Italy at this point. Piscina's goal uh, from a similar angle on the other side of the box. Just persistence and aggression and, and something the Italians have been lacking in the in the first 90 minutes of play. On 105 minutes. So we're, we're getting quite deep into the first half of added time. Um Another brilliant finish, again low and hard from a very acute angle. And those two goals reminded me of Italy Germany in 2006 in the World Cup semi final in extra time um, from Del Piero and then Fabio Grosso uh, because where, where they came in the game. Um, and it's raised not only the Italian game because they were pushing for third, but it raised the Austrians. They were still, you know, going forward. And Donnarumma pulls off a brilliant save just after half time in extra time from Schaub who came on. It was his first touch of the ball, and he's leathered that. Absolutely hit it low, hard to the keeper's left, and Donnarumma has pulled off a very, very good save. Um, and the Austrians took heart from that, and then they start pressing. And Italy are wanting to push, push for the third, Austria pushing for their first, and they get it from a corner. Schau, who's been a massive impact um, coming off the bench in extra time, why wasn't he playing earlier? I think that's a, a tactical error from the Austrian coach. But he swings the corner in and Kalasic with a low, stooping, diving header again from an insane, crazy angle with hardly any angle to work with. There's no one on the post. Donnarumma's got his angles a bit wrong um, and uh, it, it's in the net. And the Austrians were still pushing for that equaliser. The Italians are still pushing for a third goal. There was no, let's keep it in the corner and, 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 and kill them. Kill, kill the clock. No, no, this was two sides in extra time actually going for an end-to-end. -end. The game has completely opened up. And then Di Lorenzo, uh, the right-back, the right-wing-back, 
He's had an average game, a quiet game. He goes on a 90-yard run with the ball. No Austrian players are stopping him because they run out of steam. And unfortunately, he shots off target, but that, and he just gets up and runs all the way back into defence. The fact that he still had the energy deep into extra time amazed me. But credit to both teams. Austria were very, very good money um, for, for their, you know, their efforts. And they were, they were brave. They were, they were, I wouldn't say plucky, they were, they were brave. They, they really gave Italy a, the sternest test they have faced in quite some time, including in qualification. They really pushed Italy for 120 minutes. Now, normally extra time becomes a cagey affair. There was nothing cagey about this extra time. It was just blown wide open. This should be, well, this is possibly the best game of the tournament for that last 30 minutes. That last 30 minutes was, I think, some of the, the most entertaining and open and unpredictable football we have seen in this tournament. And over, a hundred, I think, 101 goals have now been scored in the tournament up to this point. That's insane. We're only into the second match of the second round and 101 goals have, have gone in. Uh, it shows that the level of goal scoring as well has gone up. Um, the goals per game average must be higher than the World Cup in 2018, which I think was the highest of any international tournament ever. Uh, I'll have to look a little, a little check on that. But entertaining extra time. Fair play to Austria for giving it a go. Italy, they were rattled. They were given a test. They came through this test, and they can learn a lot from that 90 minutes before extra time. Extra time as well. Yeah, I think Mancini will not necessarily be fully happy with some of the mistakes the Italians made, and he may look to change his lineup for the quarterfinal, which will be either against Belgium or Portugal, depending on who gets through that game. I can see a few lineup tweaks, um, pr primarily in midfield. Uh, I think I can see some tweaks in midfield. I think Verratti was fully fit. He had a quiet off-kilter game. Uh, Locatelli came on, didn't have the same impact he had in the group stages where he scored a, a double. Um, so I can see some, some tweaks there. Austria, I, I hope they qualify for the World Cup because this is a, 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 a team that has grown from where they were before. Uh, but they need to be a little bit less conservative. In the group stages, they were very conservative, but they grew into this game and they were very, very, very open very progressive, and David Alaba, he was just all over the place, he was on left back, right back, centre back, deep lying midfielder, left midfield, right, he was very hard to pick up, and you know, he's a key player for them, uh, and uh, Schlager, I think was their best player tonight, he was tireless, his energy levels didn't drop, I think he ran himself into the ground, but all in all, a very entertaining uh, second round match, uh, thank you very much for watching, place your thoughts below, and I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.